Are you ready for some football? And I don't mean Jamaican football as in soccer. We're talking American football. It's bowl season after all, and no better way to kick off bowl season than with the Air Force Reserve Celebration Bowl. It's championship style football between HBCU champs of the Mid-Eastern Atlant Atlantic Conference. Please excuse me, I, you can tell I don't know squat about football. MEAC and the Southwestern <laughs> Athletic Conference, SWAC. Thank, uh, this year's game uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, features the Eagles of North Carolina Central University and the Grambling State University <laughs> Tigers. I am so sad to say that I don't see my alma mater, the Howard University Bison, uh, playing in Atlanta, but we're going to talk about it. Joining us <laughs> to talk about uh, the Celebration Bowl is the Executive Director, John Grant. Good morning, John. How are you? Good morning. Thank you guys for having me this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I have Barbara Onwine with us and Cleo Monago is joining us as well. Uh, so we wanted to ask you, how many years has the Celebration Bowl been going on? This is our second year. Last year was the inaugural, inaugural year of the bowl game. So we're proud to be in our second year. Ah, well, that's interesting. So tell us, that in your second year, um, how did this come about and why is this game so important for the exposure of HBCU athletes? Well, the uh, ESPN had, has been in uh, conversation with the commissioners from uh, both conference, the, the MEAC and SWAC, for a number of years about the possibility of yeah, yeah. launching a bowl game for these two conferences who are the you know the largest division one conferences for hbcus um, that finally came to fruition when the uh, MEAC chancellors and presidents voted to not send their teams to the um, ncaa uh, football playoffs and to have them uh, participate in this bowl game and so last year the bowl game was launched we had uh, last year's champions for the MEAC north carolina a t took on the SWAC champ in Alcorn State in a thriller game that went down to the to the to the last play of the game and North Carolina A T ended up prevailing and were were the inaugural national champions for HBCU football as a result of their victory in the in the Air Force Reserve Celebration Bowl twenty fifteen. Uh, that's really interesting. Let me ask you a quick question. What was the reasoning behind the decision not to go to the NCAA um, playoffs? Well you know when you look at the the you know the HBCU's participation in playoffs over over a number of years. It was just difficult to compete because they were constantly on the road um, in terms of when, with 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 the positionings that the teams received, uh, and it it was it made it also from participating in this bowl game. It was just more uh, financially advantageous for them to compete here uh, than it was to. Um, to you know, to continue their their track, and then it had been really quite some time, uh, quite frankly, bef uh, since uh, there had been a competitive run during that period. So it for them, it made economic sense to um, to to participate in this bowl game, and we've seen the benefits of that uh, even after our inaugural year. Okay, so I know that it's a lot more than a football game going on in Atlanta this weekend. Tell us about the other events around the Celebration Bowl. Well, for us, it's really about the bowl experience for the players, uh, and we, we've done a great job. This team um, with ESPN Events has done a great job of that. Uh, we have a welcome dinner for them when they arrive on Wednesday at the Georgia Aquarium. Um, last night, we had a great dinner, our champions dinner. We brought in um, some legends, the incoming legends, as a matter of fact, that will be inducted into the Black College Football Hall of Fame in February. Last night was their first public appearance together, and uh, so... You know, they were with us last night. Um, they toured the Center for Civil and Human Rights. Today, they'll be visiting um, Hughes Spalding Hospital, uh, which is a division of Children's Hospital. Uh, that, that hospital treats kids with sickle cell anemia, so they'll be doing that. Um, but of course, and then, um, you know, fans have a number of things to do in the city. Uh, there's a kickoff event tonight, uh, Friday, here uh, at uh, Stats Restaurant, and then there's an uh, another kickoff party going on, an after event party. Um, tomorrow night, the um, Atlanta 
Fal Hawks, I'm sorry, will be playing the Charlotte Bobcats. And then on Sunday, the Atlanta Falcons are playing the San Francisco 49ers. So there's, and then when you think about everything else Atlanta has to offer, there's a lot to do. And certainly people are going to be finishing up their Christmas shopping while they're in town. Well, thank you. Um, Barbara, Cleo, do you have any questions? Well, I'm Are really you a football fan? Oh, yes. And I'm very excited to hear that the North Carolina Central University Eagles <laughs> uh, will be nope. in this bowl because, you know, I teach at the law school at North oh, Carolina yes. Central University. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. This is going to be fabulous. I had heard this talk about creating this game for years. I am so glad it's, you know, really underway and that this is the second year. Very exciting. <laughs> Thank you. We are as well. I mean, both, yes. these, both universities are just excited <laughs> about being here. The fan base has been yes. just tremendous. And we're looking forward to an exciting game because both teams come in to this game very equally matched. And we know it's going to be an exciting game on, on, uh, on Sunday. So thank you so much for joining us. I am hoping that next year we will be seeing the Howard University Bison playing. But until then, folks, please remember <laughs> the Air Force Reserve Celebration Bowl kicks off at 12 noon on ESPN. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.